Hey all, Dwarf Lord here. It's been less than 24 hours since the release of uh, SOD, and we've already got just about everything discovered in the season of Discovery. These have been data mined. These are the raid items from the 10 man Black Fathom Deeps. So here we have some necklaces. Does it show who this drops from? We're not sure who it drops from, but these are some necklaces. Um, some definitely really nice ones like this strength agility. Uh, the tank one is kind of meh, but uh, like this strength stamina would be much better than the four defense. That's just my personal opinion for tanking. Uh, stamina spirit, spirit's good for priests. Um, this is a really nice necklace here though for damage and healing. Really cool necks. We see shadow resistance on this one. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a shadow fight at all in here. We see some shadow uh, affixes later on these items. I haven't looked at all of them. We're just looking at them fresh together. Shimmering Thresher capes, so probably drops off of that Thresher boss. This is actually really similar stats to um, the, the normal dungeon. But we have two other cloaks that this can drop as well, so it's not just the Strength Spirit. We have Intellect Spirit and then Agility Spirit. Spirit, of course, is awesome for leveling, but once you're level 25, the spirit's kind of goofy unless you're a priest. A nice ring here with this strength and stamina, but this 1% damage done by pets, that's a really goofy, crappy ring. Uh, this is a nice ring with the damage and healing. Increased stealth detection, that's a nice PvP affix. The swim speed, that's useless. I think that swim speed should have just been innately on this ring you know strength stamina swim speed or maybe you have uh the option for it to have stealth detection like maybe it's like there's two of these it's like or like it's a, it's 50 50 do you get the swim speed or the stealth detection just this eh, these are goofy i don't like these rings this hunters that's goofy trinkets again we're seeing shadow resistance uh Increased healing, wow, this is like half of a rejuve gem. 18 attack power, very nice. Increases the damage of your imps, fire bolt spell. That just seems really lackluster in comparison to the other ones. But here, damage and healing trinket, there we go. I'm just, this warlock one is kind of goofy. Uh, we're not sure what Murgle does, but maybe he helps attack. And again, provides minor protection against shadow. Hmm, what kind of shadow damage stuff's gonna go on in this fight? Oh, here we got some more stuff. Various damage and healing, really nice caster gear, that's for sure. Soul Leech Pants are an original item. They've just had damage and healing added onto them. Uh, what else do we got? Sub-Zero Pauldrons. Cool frost damage. I really like this set here. This is similar to the Silithus set, the Twilight Invoker. So that's kind of cool. We're not sure of a set bonus. What's that going to be? These are almost identical. These Naga Battle Gauntlets, I think, to the normal Black Fathom Deeps. Uh... This is a weird armor for leather. It's got that intellect on it. Got some boom can slash shaman stuff here. Really nice cloak here. Oh no, that's a, it's a helmet. It looks like a cloak for a second. I guess this could be a druid helmet with all the bonus armor. That's kind of poopy. Increased damage done to beasts. Uh, like these outclass these by so much. Why do these even exist? I guess you have to have crappy items to, to make the good items good. <clears throat> Now we have some Leather Twilight Slayer set. Wow, that's going to be very desirable. I'd love to see what the set bonus is. Here's 
more of a caster set. So everyone's got a little three piece set of what is it? Helmet, chest and boots, male armor, any standout pieces. This is a good tank piece here. Strength, stamina, defense. Algae gloves. It's very similar to the normal gloves that would drop in BFD. Silverhand sabatons, amazing. So you can see all these items on the Wowhead link. Mail set bonus. Very good. Love to see the strength, agility, stamina. This one's kind of low stamina, but that's okay. Okay, this is what we want, the weapons. It's weird that it has a dot. This makes it useless in PvP. Uh, fire damage. It's interesting how we have shoulders with frost damage. Now we have um, a dagger with fire damage. This dagger does nine fire damage. Why wouldn't you just use the 12 damage and healing dagger? It just, this uh, kind of crappy. And here's a dagger that does four damage and healing. Why is there a dagger with four damage and healing and then you have another dagger with 12 damage and healing? So that's kind of goofy. Wow, an epic Ajari Arbalist. What's that crossbow off of Cro-Mag? That's what this reminds me of. Little wand, shot more shadow resistance. Nice agility gun here for hunters or melee. All right, this is what we like. Main hand with no stats. I think these are, mi are they missing some stuff? This seems like, why, why would they put this in the game? No stats on that. Here we have 50 armor, 1.3 speed, 2 point speed. Owned dark water tower, little shout up bolt. Crazy damage and healing, no stamina or intellect or anything on that. But none of these other ones do. But you've got this crazy epic, oh my gosh, and it only has two more damage than this one. I'm not sure how rare these epics are going to be. Fathom Blade, that's the one we saw in the... Uh... For a second I was confused. I thought that maybe this, this, this Deadly Strike of the Hydra was like a upgraded version of this. So I was just checking out that staff. Anyways, this is that AoE frontal sword that's gonna be very popular increases chance to hit with all spell or spells and melee and ranged attacks cool that's so pallies don't have their spells miss Spa, splash the ancient corrosive poison that's just a single target anyways very cool relics spirit attack power when fighting undead interesting MP5, off hands. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Possible quest rewards. Inscribed gravestone scepter. Yeah, it would be weird for them to take that that some of these quest rewards out. Where's the horde one? There, there used to be a horde quest sword, a really good one hand sword. Not sure where that went. Anyways, so I'm gonna link the article to all of these if you wanna take a look at this. Um, there's some really cool stuff and then there's some lackluster pieces, as I kind of expected. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a sub and a comment. I read and respond to each and every one. Catch me live on my Twitch channel, Dwarf Lord TV, to connect with me or say hi to me in game on any of my characters. Dwarf Lord out. <laughs>